What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Demo Storm, and today we are the Triceratops and for some reason my camera is zoomed in like crazy. I'm in like, I don't even know what type of view. So I don't know if this is something to do with the Triceratops or what's going on here. So we're just going to play it out, I guess. First person Triceratops mode. I guess you could say third person, first person. I don't know, we're going to call it second person. It's crazy like that. But I can't really, it, it's weird. I can't really like judge my terrain or anything when I'm not in this view. I guess it's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, but today we're trying out the Triceratops, a pretty powerful creature actually in the aisle. If you get that, you know, speed behind you and you ram someone with these horns, they're going to be pretty damn damaged. I watched one of these guys wipe out three T-Rexes before he himself went down. But I mean, he destroyed everyone. The horns are really good at piercing and, you know, causing that blood loss that you see a lot of dinosaurs having. Look at us go. You got that weird head angle. Look at it. It's just the weirdest thing I've ever done. But today, we're just gonna, you know, travel around as an herbivore and talk about, you know, the aisle. <coughs> as I sneeze. Sorry about that, guys. Usually, in the, if I record in the morning, you guys are going to hear me sneezing. I have terrible, terrible allergies during the seasons. Uh, usually, winter, I'm more prone to sneezing, but for some reason, I've got summer allergies. It's one of those things, and I need to just, you know, take allergy medicine, probably, in my life, but I never do. I think it makes everyone drowsy. Even if it's not non-drowsy, it always makes you drowsy. That or loopy. Either one. It's like motion sickness. I have motion sickness too. And if you take that medicine, you can get like really addicted to it. Like, I don't know. It just, it just makes you loopy as hell. So today we're doing the Triceratops in this weird fashion. Because I don't know what's going on with my camera. Is, is there a button to change the camera? I know they added this recently. Like when I last played, they added, uh, you know, a control log and then I stopped playing and then came back. Debug. Quip. Escape menu. See, they're getting ready for other people. You know, people coming into the game. Human beings. Push to talk. I don't even know if that works. Special. Sprint. Toggle HUD. Trot. Use. See, they have all these weird things, but I don't see anything like that. First person you or anything. Hmm. Very strange. Anyways, we're going to have to play like this, guys. The weird Triceratops view. If, if you guys know if this is, like, the, why they do it, or I'll check it if I die today. Let me know if this is, like, on purpose or not. I guess you can judge its head a little bit better when I'm going to hit something for hitboxes, but that's about it. So we need to find... Is that water? We found water. All right, so we're going to hang around the water, if at all possible. I cannot wait for, you know, the sarcos and stuff. Let's just fill that water meter up. It goes down pretty quickly. And we're an herbivore, so we can eat plants, so we don't have to hunt people down. They have to come and hunt me. And I guess the Triceratops would be easily huntable. Hmm. Can't really judge food. Very, very strange. Alright, I'm in front of this. Some plants I can eat, some I can't. I don't know. I can't judge the head in this mode. Anyways, weird, weird. Uh, we have to go for the bigger ones. The tree looking ones like that. That's fine. Try and get some predators to come. We'll do the loud call. We can also do, you know, hold C and go broadcast my location. Look at this guy. Big brewery. Burly. Brewery. I don't know the words. 
Well, we're at one of the watering holes. As you guys saw in the last episode, we played the Quetzal. Very interesting dinosaur coming to the game. Or Pterodactyl. Either way you want to look at it. So, Pterodactyl was a word given to many, many flying, you know, dinosaurs or prehistoric, you know, creatures. I don't know. I'm always going to call them birds. Bird dinosaurs. Anyways. Yeah, Pterodactyl was used to name, like, way too many. But, you know, there's there's one actual Pterodactyl, and then there's many that were called Pterodactyls. I don't know. That's why we have, like, Pteranodon and shit in, uh... Ark. They didn't call it a Pterodactyl. Either, even though it looks like a Pterodactyl. Not as big as a Pterodactyl, I don't think. Let's keep moving. Hmm. I do not like doing this mountain stuff because you can just break your ankle. Uh, to fix an ankle break, you just gotta wait. It's time based. You know, depending on your size, how long it's gonna take. Just rest it out. You know. Blood loss, on the other hand, you need to have 80% on each food and water. And you rest and you rebuild blood. This is weird for a really packed server on a Saturday. Like, I, I, I have the last slot. So this is weird that I'm not seeing many people. I killed a Gallimimus as soon as I woke up to see if, you know, there was some glitch with my Triceratops here. But I guess not. Very weird. Kind of motion sickness-y movement of this thing. Let's see where we must go. The future can hold. I'm just going to eat as much as I can and then probably rest up ahead. See, I can't see anything either. Like, I don't have a good view angle. Is this because the Triceratops eyes are like there? I don't know. I don't know. Game devs, please let me know. move up this hill. Look at him go, though. He's got that walk. <coughs> oh, as I said, those allergies, guys. You got allergies, you know. You know the pain. There's probably some locations on this map that I'm going to have to learn in my free time. You know, so I know where to go every time. Let's just get that stamina bar up. But the life of an herbivore would honestly be very boring to me. There's no hunt for food. There's just water and leaves. Waters and leaves. I mean, it'd be cool because, like, when they add humans, you're going to be hunted. And it's just survival. You know, Carnivores have it a little bit better. They get hunting and tracking blood and footprints and stuff. I think in the later game, they're supposed to make it so, like, those natural-born hunters, the ones that were really, really good at hunting, will have better stats. Like, you can smell dinosaurs. You can see blood better. You know, footprints will be highlighted more. Stuff like that. And they're supposed to make it, if you're a good carnivore, you'll get strains of, like, a disease to make you stronger and, like... You have more customization on your dinosaur, like wearing skulls and shit. It's not supposed to be overly, overly serious in the end, like it is now. It's more of an RP-ish game. But we'll see in the future, you know. Game devs can change their mind depending on how their player base wants it. You know. It seems like humans are being worked on at the moment, too. Oh no. I'm near people. So that local chat only pops up if I'm near people, and especially if they're herbivores. Hmm. Alright, let's just get some combat. I don't care.
Sounds like a herd. Yeah, it's an herbivore herd. Many carnivores. Look at this. Look at all the herbivores in one place. Dead. Frickin'. What the hell, Mega Herd? We're just gonna get a cool screenshot real fast. Look at this all. I don't trust Puerto Sources. They're just evil little bastards. Why can't I move? Is that an herbivore? I can't tell if I just attacked an herbivore. Or not. That's probably why you got missed, pissed off. Huh. All right, let's check out if that's the view. Yep, that is the view. So I guess I killed an air before. <laughs> it happens, though. We got that cool herd that we ran into. These trees. This space is unique. I feel like you can get a good spawn point and you can get some bad spawn points. And I got one of the bad ones in the beginning. Especially for our Triceratops. Because it looks like we're really close to the other herd. This looks like perfect hunting lands, though, for a T-Rex or something. Raptors can hide in this tall grass. I like this more than I do, like, the forests. You know, dense jungle and stuff. I like really open fields. You know, I find that would make a cool dinosaur. You know, dinosaurs, the carnivores are hiding in the woods while we hang out in the fields and be safe. You know? Just being a dinosaur and stuff. So let's see if we can find that thing, that whole herd. Oh, there's a river. Surprised we're not hanging out around the river. The cool little location. Let's see how it looks. The hard hardships of a herbivore. Thought I heard a big dinosaur behind me. That's the guy who killed us earlier. He must have died too. Ooh, 
carnivores. Right, let's get with this other guy, Triceratops, that killed us last time. I memed it. Alright, there's our herbivore pack. Carnivore pack. Oh, I got extincted. We killed the Rex, though. Taking down a Rex is a big deal. Right, what other dinosaur? Well, we're gonna, it's Triceratops Day, so let's stick with the Triceratops. Another shitty spawn. <sighs> the life of a Triceratops. So I'm going to have to learn the map for you guys, but today we're going to end with the Triceratops. If you guys enjoyed today's Triceratops video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, check out Patreon for cool rewards. I've been Demo. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your, your father day, Father's Day, guys. As always, night-night.